I do want to ask you about something. It, it, it had a profound effect on me. I think it was Gary Speed's death. And yeah. I always remember I was that day. I was I was in my house. I was watching Sky Sports News, and the the breaking news came across the the bottom of the screen. And um, I think then the picture then cut to you later on that day. I think you were playing at Swansea that day, yeah, weren't it was, you? Yeah. And it. Did you give us any case because you were very close with Gary and I, I'd met him a few times in yeah, your company yeah. we've been out for a few nights I wouldn't say I know him brilliantly or terribly well but I, yeah. I had a few nights out with him with you and just the, the the effect that that had on you when, when Gary passed can you just give us any <sighs> yeah yeah, it's tough even talking about now I mean he's, he's still a young well he would have been still a young man yeah. here today you know it's just weird I mean that day in particular was like I think it was about 11 o'clock in the morning my phone rung and it was, it was Alan Shearer actually and he's rung and he's like obviously told me the news like I'm like ah, are you sure like are you sure it's not like do you know what I mean somebody's you know sick things that goes on on the internet or whatever and he goes no nah, no nah, I'm serious your best mates just called me I don't know what they say like you know just obviously ringing around mm. a few of the lads and it was just like oh my god so then we had a meeting I think about 11.30 and it's before we then pulled Alex McLeese the manager at the time and it says like you know, I've told him the news like and then it was like Phew. like it, then the, room, the word sort of spread around the, the lads and stuff and and we got to the stadium at Swansea and obviously Gary Speed was the Welsh manager at the time, you know, so it's obviously huge news in, in, in Wales and stuff. And we just, there was talk about the game's going to be called off and stuff and probably should have been called off if you asked me. But, it, you know, the referee was consulted and TV it was on, I think it might have been live on TV yeah, or, was, yeah. or whatever. And, and it was like, no, the game's going ahead, like, you know. So then I get my game head on. It was like, right, I need to focus and... How, how did you? How did you get? I don't your head know. I don't know. I, 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 I just. I don't know. Just this is what this is what I do. This is what I have to do. Like robotic type thing. Just go out and warm up. This do this. You know, Speedo would want you to play, and and his memory. You get all these sort of thoughts going through your head and stuff, and then, and then the minute silence happened, like, and the guy on the microphone was saying, you know, he's talking about Gary. We lost this great, and it just it was all just hit me then right on that spot. Like you know, I was like, oh, I just couldn't hold it together. I think it was with Dunny and maybe even James Collins, and sort of end up nearly holding me up. You know what I mean? And I was like, this is tough. Like, but. Anyway, got through the game. It was just a weird game and nil nil. I think and it was just like a yeah. dead sort of atmosphere mm-hmm. all around, and it was just just a weird sort of atmosphere. And you know, then obviously after it, just just a few, obviously still talking about it now is tough, but a few tough weeks yeah. after that, like with the with the family and stuff. And yeah, it's tough. Yeah, because it's such a like that game being live on Sky. It's very public grief where the camera is quite literally zooming in on yeah. you during that minute silence. Then you have to actually go home, get on the team bus, go back, yeah. go meet his family. Yeah. Go through losing one of your mates. Yeah, well, it's like you know, as I say, I said before in the book, you know, about my mum passing away and stuff. You know, the, the, the people forget there's a human side. They like, yeah, it was my teammate, but really one of my best friends as well. Do you know mm. what I mean? And, and yeah. people forget, you know, I had to go and see his family and his dad and his two boys, like you know, Tom and Ed and stuff. And what do you say to them? Like, you know what I mean? And just the the human human side of it all. Like, you know, could you have done something more? Could you could you help? Could you have asked questions? I don't know. I mean, Speedo was a person. He's one of the most bubbly characters you ever meet and always up for a laugh and always, you know, he's, his laugh used to make me laugh. He used to have the heartiest laugh ever. And, and you know, like, you just you just think he'd be the last person. You know, I know a lot yeah. of people say that when people, when you know, take yeah. their own lives, but I, I, I genuinely all my friends and stuff, I would, you know, you just would never have seen it coming, you know. 